<laughs> Hi, everyone. Yay, I'm so happy to be here with you. Happy 2021. Yay. Are you guys having a great day? Okay, if you're live, welcome to the live show, New Year's Day. And if you're watching recorded, hey, welcome to. <laughs> I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I am a certified art teacher with 20 plus years of teaching experience in the Cleveland schools. I have been teaching virtually with you guys since March. Unbelievable. And uh, I just really wanted to thank you as crazy as 2020 was, it was also amazing in some ways, just like this online virtual community we have created. So I am so thrilled to be here with you today, celebrating the new year. I just thought what better way to do it than to be with you guys. I can't be with my immediate family. Everyone's, you know, still social distancing and being safe but you guys know it's gonna it will come to an end soon with everybody getting vaccinated so let's just have fun virtually create together i'm super excited to be with you guys and joe is my nephew behind the scenes today so joe's going to be messaging with you guys and chatting and i'm going to see real quick uh so susan's here and holly's here and angela's here uh let's see who else is here i can't always see the screen joe so i thought maybe joe could put some i have to look on my phone all right or, or wear bifocals i'm just not ready to wear bifocals yet <laughs> okay so I'm like, all right there's got to be a way to see those comments bigger so i just want to say hey jessica and linda and sandra i love this linda lisa april Catherine, jill amy callahan banis Patty and Connie and Jennifer. <laughs> I love this. So I'm sorry, you guys. I hate to be rude and pull up my phone. All right, look, the kids always love seeing my phone because it's paint. It's got paint all over it. But um, so Karina, hi, Karina and LaVon. Sandra Ray, Linda Herman, Jessica Cornett Cruz. All right. So. Welcome, you guys. I'm, again, really, really excited to be here with you guys on this special start of 2021. It's got to be a great year, right? Joe, put up that that great year uh, with Lucy. I hereby declare that this is my year. Best year ever. Yes, you guys. Right? Woohoo! I wish I had confetti and streamers. Confetti and streamers. Or my fingers can do it. All right, so if you're new, I always start with a sloppy copy. So practice paper and use a pencil. I use black marker just so you can see it better on the screen. So here is a printable, right? And then I'm going to do my sloppy copy here. Again, I'm going to use black marker. I want you guys to use pencil, or you don't have to do the sloppy copy at all. You could just watch, right? So that, but if you join in late and you start using a black marker and then some people are like, how do I cover up my marker? Well, you can't. I'm just using it so you can see better on the screen. So I love Charlie Brown, right? Creator Charles Schultz from Minnesota. And actually Charlie Brown was created in 1950. I'll tell you a little bit more about him later. So good old Charlie Brown has a giant noggin. So cute, but a, that means if you're a little kid, it means he has a big head. So I'm going to start with his big head and I'm going to do a circle. Okay. Now I'm going to put his ear here, which is like a half a circle. I'm going to put the other half a circle here. Now I didn't, again, because I'm using black marker, I didn't connect it because then it would, the line would go through Snoopy's head. But if you're using pencil, you can easily connect it and then erase it. But Snoopy's head's going to overlap into Charlie Brown's face. So I'm going to do this line like this. And again, you can use the printable for a sample. You can trace it. You can color it yourself. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, oil pastels, temper paint, acrylic paint, whatever you want. Uh, Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Sema. Did I say your name right? I'm sorry if I say anybody's name wrong. Okay. 
So you have the basic shape of uh, Snoopy's little head right there. And then here is almost like an arched line like that. And that would, I'll tell you what, you'll figure it out. So I'm gonna add Charlie Brown's little fingers. Up and down and up and down. So you, of course you can freehand this with me. And again, this is my sloppy copy. So this is the practice. Let's do his other hand here. Who doesn't love Snoopy? I mean, come on, everyone loves Snoopy, right? We can all relate. Sometimes my marker. Doesn't work great. So this is little Woodstock's hand in there. A zigzag line. That's the top of the ear. It almost looks like a W, right? At the top of the ear. So this part would be later, we'll do it black. And we could put Snoopy's eyes in. His eyes are closed because he's so happy because he's getting hugged by Charlie Brown. I think I made his nose a little bit too big. And it, isn't that weird? Like you just change it a touch. You can absolutely trace. Hi, Leslie Maywood. You can absolutely trace your printable onto your canvas if you want to. I love it. Look at, she's got the little Charlie Brown in her picture. So there's, you could do old school. So if you want to trace your template onto your canvas, you could color on the back side of it. So you could scribble with a crayon or a pencil really hard. This is how we used to do it as a kid. And then turn it back over to the front, lay it on your canvas, and then trace it by pressing really hard on the black line. And then whatever you used on the back of it, like crayon, the crayon will transfer to canvas. If you don't want that wax, use a pencil, right? Or some of you have old school carbon paper. So you can use the carbon paper and trace it on there as well totally up to you or you can freehand it. So it's up to you. I like to give people the template because they like it. Sometimes they have little kids who want to participate and join in. So how you use that template is totally up to you. And I just look, look at, so I just made his nose a little bit too big on that one. And it, it throws off his look a little bit, but just so, that's why I'm practicing, right? So if I had a pencil, I could erase it. What did Anna Marie say? And if you guys don't have the template, in the event, in the discussion, I posted it. So uh, in the event, in the discussion, there's the picture of it. And, uh, but you can draw it with me. Come on, it's a new year, give it a try, do it freehand. Okie dokie. All right, let's do Charlie, oh my gosh. Let's do Charlie Brown. So roughly in the middle, it's like his nose is like a backward C. So I'm gonna do a backward C, right in about in the middle. And then that way it'll help you place where to put his eyes. And then his smile, smile, Charlie. Usually Charlie Brown's like, good grief. But minions his eyebrows and then like right in the middle of those eyebrows is that curly piece of hair that he has right it's so funny Charlie Brown with this one piece of hair <laughs> and I probably should have made it up a little bit higher so again if you look at the difference just those little characters his hair being up a little higher Snoopy's nose being a little bit smaller it, it makes them look a little bit different it takes practice okay so just you know Practice, practice, practice. I'm going to put some Snoopy eyebrows in there because he's so happy. Okay. Now, right here is like a line. And then this is Charlie Brown's arm, like his sleeve, and then his shirt. That classic shirt 
I was thinking, oh, I should have one of those shirts, but I don't. But it would be cute if I did, you know, with the zigzag. So it's like a diagonal, diagonal, right? That's that classic shirt of his. And then Snoopy's body kind of overlaps there. So his shirt would be right there. And then Snoopy is overlapping Charlie Brown. He's kind of falling into him for that hug. Oh, I can't wait to hug everybody again. Are you guys missing hugs? I'm missing hugs. He is he's falling into that big hug. And then, so Charlie Brown's kneeling here. So I'm gonna do a line like this. And then that's his thigh. And you can put these little, Charles Schultz is famous for putting those little like hashtaggy lines to give it, I'll show you on here too, like this. It just gives it like a little bit of depth and, all right, and here's his other knee right here. And then his foot is back here. So he's kind of like kneeling and that's his foot. And now they're floating in the air, right? So we have to put the ground line. So here's a horizontal line and I'm gonna do the horizontal line and then I'm gonna finish it right there. So now it looks like they, he's kneeling on the floor, right? And then Snoopy's kind of giving him a big hug. And I'm gonna work on uh, Woodstock, okay? So Woodstock, his face is almost like an S. So think of it like right about here, do a big S. And then the top of his hair is like, you know what I have to tell you guys, the top of his head reminds me of Groot, you know Groot? I, we're gonna do Groot. I know the kids wanna do Groot one day, so, but the top of Woodstock's head kind of reminds me of Groot. And then he has uh, like a slanted eye there. You could put some little lines in there. Then his little body's over here, his little tail. Who doesn't love Woodstock? Snoopy's tail, I forgot Snoopy's tail. You gotta have a tail for Snoopy. And if you want to put a heart, you can put a heart. You don't have to. Hearts are cute, right? And this is great too for Valentine's coming up. So if you wanna do hearts on it, it could be, this is a great artwork for any time of the year. But if you guys wanna do it for Valentine's, that's awesome. You could do it and just make it into a card, send it to somebody, uh, hang it up on the wall, of course, put your favorite quote on there, whatever you want. So that's my practice, that's my sloppy copy. All right, now I have a joke for you before we get to the thing, to the good one. Look at, here we go. All right, you guys, I use, let me adjust this for a sec so you can see his knees. I don't want you to see my messy table, but now you see my messy table. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I use acrylic paint. I love acrylic paint and I reuse my plate over and over. So I have to tell you, there's a lot of layers on here, but really you need the primary colors. So red, yellow, blue, and white, okay? And all the other colors you see is, there's are dry underneath it. But with those three primary colors, we can make green, we can make purple, we can make um, whatever other colors you want, including his skin color, which is peach. And I'll teach you guys how to do that. And then I always put, here's my black over here. Cause you know what happens? I bump into my black and it gets all over the place. Don't touch your black till later. Now, again, you could be using crayons, you could be using colored pencils, but whatever you use, always use the dark colors at the end, okay? Yes, you guys, this is gonna be recorded. It's being recorded right now. So this is recorded and it's on Facebook and it's on YouTube. And then I have members, my subscribers, we have a private Facebook group. So it's also recorded in their private Facebook group. So yes, it's live and recorded. And if you're watching it recorded, welcome, hi. It might not be New Year's Day, <laughs> right? New Year's Day might be over. So, um, but I thought we could tell a joke before I start my good copy. So Joe, give us a joke. <laughs> uh, give him a minute. What is a New Year's resolution? What is a New Year's resolution? Hmm, I don't know. 
What's a New Year's resolution? Something that goes in one year and out the other. You get that? I don't know if kids will get that, but I get it. I bet you, you get it. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Okay, I have a New Year's resolution. I'm actually, how about the Snoopy picture, Joe? The one Snoopy picture where Snoopy's, yeah, should I or shouldn't I? That's my New Year's resolution, okay? My New Year's resolution. Thanks, Joe. Love Snoopy. Okay, lay off the sweets. No donuts. Should I or shouldn't I? Well, so my New Year's resolution is to eat better, move more. I have to tell you guys, moving from the couch to the kitchen to the bedroom is not working. <laughs> so I got to move more. I got to eat better. And, uh, you know, that's my news, along with 10 other things. So, but I don't want it to go in one year and out the other. So, all right, let's move on. I hope you guys are thinking about your New Year's resolutions. Okie dokie. So let's start with Charlie Brown's big noggin again, okay? So I'm going to do, uh, and look, you guys, I've done this before, and I've been doing this, you know, I've been creating art since I was a little kid. And if you don't do this all the time, it's just like anything else, you know, it takes practice, like cooking or yoga or anything else. So don't be hard on yourself. Just have fun. Enjoy it. All right, so his big noggin, let's do his big head. That's a little half circle where his, is. and again, you could connect your whole circle, but because I'm using a marker and then there's some overlapping and I don't want to confuse you, but if you want to collect, you know, trace out the whole circle, you can. And I'm going to do Snoopy's head here so it overlaps Charlie Brown's face like that. You could put, I'm gonna do his nose a little bit smaller on this one. A little highlight on there. And then the diagonal line and the diagonal line. All right. And then I'm gonna do Charlie Brown's fingers right here. Cause he's hugging Snoopy. His arms over here. And you know what? If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. You can paint over it, color over it. I was, sometimes when I hold the marker, it doesn't come out as dark as I want it to. Here's this arm over here with his sleeve, right? His little yellow sleeve. And then the bottom of his shirt's over here. Horizontal line. I'm gonna do Snoopy right here, overlapping him. So yes, I, you guys, I, I'm going to keep this video up and it's just, you know, my way of thanking you for 2021 and creating with me. And, uh, you know, I'm still virtual. I, I have not done too many in-person jobs because of everything. So we're, we have a subscription group. We have a great time. Oh, there's an art app. Joe, you could put up the thing for the art app. My members and subscribers, you guys have access to that art app, Kajabi is the website that I use, which houses 150 plus videos that we've recorded over the, you know, these last several months. So if you're a member, make sure that you have that Kajabi app and then you can watch all of the videos on the app on any device that you want. And if you have several people in your family, you guys can all use different devices at the same time and watch the three different videos if you want to. So uh, again, that's if you're a member and a subscriber, you have access to that. So I just wanna make sure that you guys know that. And then um, now if, you, if you're if you watching it on YouTube or Facebook, you guys can watch the videos in there. And if you haven't, thanks Joe. Um, if you haven't checked out the website, check out the website for all the, I know Joe will pop up the website too, but uh, you can check out the website for all the different options that we have. We have a day pass, we have a month pass, we have a six month pass, we have a year pass. And a lot of the kids who are with us 
are have been with us and adults. I don't want to say just kids, but they've been with us since March. So, all right, let's keep going. Okie dokie. I'm going to put his hand here. So I'm going to do Snoopy's ear right here. The outline inside of his ear where it's black later. And then remember that line is like a W. W. And let's give Snoopy his legs like, oh, Charlie Brown just hugged me. Oh, that's Woodstock's hand over here. So I'm going to do the legs, right? So here's Charlie Brown's one leg and his knee and loop around. And here's his other knee over here. Here's that line where his leg is, you know, his knee would be here. And then his shoes back here. And they're floating in the air. So don't forget that ground line. Now you could put grass, but, you know, it doesn't have to be brown. It could be, it could be green. It could be the green grass. And then let's do Woodstock's little hand here because Woodstock's in for the big hug too, right? So we got Woodstock's little hand right there. And I'll do his top of his head like Groot, right? And then this letter S. S. Let's smile. His eyes. little woodstock all right and remember right roughly in the middle you're going to do a backward c for charlie brown's nose c backward c and then like a smile and a smile for his eyes and then give him a real smile Some eyebrows for Charlie. Charlie got to have some eyebrows. So Charlie Brown was created in 1950 by Charles Schultz, who was from Minnesota. And Charles, yeah, there's Charles. Look at the original Charlie Brown in the background. You guys know that it used to be black and white film, right? So yes, they didn't have color photos way back then. So that was in 1950 when Charles Schultz created Charlie Brown. And um, it was, of course, very popular, very successful, the, one of the largest comic strips ever made. It just, you know, people could relate to Good Grief, Charlie Brown, right? And poor Charlie Brown. So it was a huge success. And actually, Char Charlie Brown was really, really smart. And as a child, he skipped two grades because he was just so smart. And so he was actually one of the smallest kids in his class because he was two years younger than everybody else. Uh, but his mom knew that he was really, really good in art also. So he was always um, entering contests and, and drawing and then again, creating these comic strip characters. So, and then he gradually added more and more ca characters to the Peanuts series. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the zigzag line on the shirt. Don't forget, this, this is the classic. Right? So it's almost like a big stretched out W. W. Like that black classic stripe. And then if you want to put, well, we could put some little lines in there. And if you want to put a heart, you can put a heart. Maybe you put 2020. Maybe you put the word love. Maybe you put the word hugs. It's your artwork. So that's what I love to tell people is customize it with the colors that you want. So basically, if you have the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black and white, white, we always go through. So you guys always, if you're a painter or you're just starting to paint, you always go through more white than anything else. So you always have to, in the art, in the classroom, I always had way more white than black. You need minimal black, lots of white because you're always mixing and lightening up colors so that's why you go through white so much and but if you have the primary colors red yellow blue you can make the other colors uh but it's also fun to buy the other colors if you want a lot of the kids that create with me all the time use the canvas pads those are the really thin canvas they're like sketchbooks but they're canvas 9 by 12 11 by 14 great sizes don't take up a lot of room it's really so when you see if you see their pictures on the wall that they're usually using those canvas pads 
So they have a whole wall. A lot of them change it seasonally. It's very cool. So this one, I did the background blue because I thought it, it looked nice. But you could do your back, you could leave your background white. You could do it green. You could make a rainbow background, right? So I want you guys to customize it according to your favorite colors. Maybe you want to do it purple. Maybe you know you, you're going to make it for someone in their favorite color is pink. You could do the whole background, whatever color you want. What I want you to think about is the contrast that you're going to have. So what, if you decide to do the background pink, don't make it the same color as Charlie Brown's skin because then it won't show up. Or if you want to do the background gray, maybe you do his pants a different color. So just you can interchange anything that I've done, but just make sure that when you do the background, it doesn't blend too much into the character and the clothing. Like, you know, like Snoopy and Woodstock. All right. How about a joke, Joe? <laughs> What is corn's favorite holiday? Hmm. What is corn's favorite holiday? I don't know. I don't know. What is corn's favorite holiday? Charlie Brown, you know? New Year's Eve. You get it? <laughs> you get it? New Year's Eve. Hey, any, speaking of corn, anybody got popcorn? That's a good snack to have while you're creating with me. Okay, the last time I ate popcorn on the camera, I started choking on it. So note to self, if you're live on camera, don't eat popcorn. Because you know how it like gets stuck in your throat sometimes? And then I'm trying to talk and eat popcorn. It was not good. So that's another New Year's resolution. Don't eat popcorn on camera. Maybe I'll give up popcorn. I've been eat, I've been snacking a lot. So that's a snack more on apples. All right. Let's see. So, you guys ready to start painting? I'm ready to start painting. I was thinking we could start with the background. Okay, I, again, I want you to put that black away. So I want you guys to think of whatever color you want to do your background. I'm going to do mine blue, like the artwork, okay? But don't make it too bold. So I'm going to show you an example. You can use any brush that you have. It's fine. I'm going to not wet it. If you already wet your brush, dry it off on a paper towel unless you're using watercolor paint, because watercolor paint, you want it to be wet. But acrylic paint, you don't want to water down unless you want it transparent. So I don't want mine transparent. This is opaque when you can't see through it. That Look at how dark that is, right? I don't want my blue that dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just not even wash it off. I'm just going to go right into the white. I'm going to scoop it up and I'm going to mix it right on my canvas. Okay. I like seeing the brush strokes. I like seeing the different like shades of blue, look at that, that's value. Like, and I like to see that. I like to paint in the direction of whatever it is I'm painting around. So I'm just gonna paint around my heart. If you go inside the line, it's okay, because I'm gonna paint over it. So go ahead and again, think about whatever color. You can leave it white if you wanna leave it white. So Valerie, look in the, dis is it the, it's in the, details of the event. So you have to go to the event and then click on the details. It should be in there. And if you guys are, um, I can't do it now, but if you guys are going to watch this later or if you're watching it recorded, if you guys email me or message me on Facebook, I can, I can email it to you. I'm not great at that stuff. Okay. I'm still working on technology. I, uh, my so in the private group for my subscribers we have a files tab and so all of the printables are under the files unfortunately on the main facebook page there's no tab for files so uh that's why i just posted it in the discussion D discussion or details i can't remember where it's at but it's over there somewhere So yeah, the, the groups are so different. Like the Facebook private groups have different thing, you know, characteristics than the main Facebook page. And you guys, things keep changing on Facebook. So I know a lot of you don't see this stuff anymore. So just make sure you follow. Even following, you don't see it, which, you know, I, I don't, I'm trying my best. And when I go live, I try to go live so you guys can see this stuff, but not everybody gets to see it. So if you guys also go to the website, artist, Joe could put that up, the artistatheart.org, 
you can subscribe to emails. Now, people that um, subscribe to emails, if you ask, thanks, Joe. Oh my God, I spelled it wrong. No, I didn't. Yes, I no, I didn't. Artist at heart.org. Okay. Sorry, my eyes. I thought I missed a T. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Um, so if you guys go to the website and sign up for the emails, you'll get notifications of, hey, we're doing this event. And if you want a printable, I'll give you a printable. And and then the emails, then you would get the PDF. So it's again a whole new world because I had to learn a whole new website when I went virtual. You know, I was an art teacher. I had a really simple website. For, that's why I have .org. I was an art teacher in Cleveland in the public schools for 20 years. And I had a website and I would post the kids' artwork and projects and the parents could look at it. But it was a really simple website, very easy to use. And when I went virtual and put all the videos on the website, I needed a Mac Daddy website. So that's how Kajabi. Kajabi is an excellent website that can do a lot of things. And uh, so that's what Kajabi is. If, I know it's a weird name. When I learned about it, I was like, what is Kajabi? But that is, again, it, it can do so many things. And that's where all the videos, so their videos are in our vault. Our precious vault has all those 150 videos. And everything that we do, we do it live, and then it gets added to the vault. And that's where the kids can pull it up on the app and do it on any device that they want to. So a lot of kids are not on Facebook, right? So a lot of the members, either they're, you know, on there with their mom or, you know, they do it themselves or they do it on YouTube. And a lot of them do it recorded. So I would say don't try not to create smaller than nine by 12. I think, you know, eight by 10 is a little bit too small unless you're doing like, a, you know, just something really simple, like just a heart. But the smaller you guys work, the harder it is because you need more fine motor. So I would definitely work nine by 12 or larger. And if you're getting a lot of texture showing from your canvas, if you're using canvas, that lo those little tiny speckled squares, you just need a little more paint. That's just the texture from the gesso. So notice, you can see the value that's blue that comes in. You can see the lights and darks of it. So value is the lights and darks of a color. Well, I created tints, T-I-N-T. Tint is when you add white to a color, but I don't want it to be, you can make yours flat blue, but I think it looks more interesting when you can see all the different values. And if you want to paint the edge of your canvas, paint the edge of it, totally up to you. Oops, I missed down here. Don't forget the bottom. All the way down to the ground. So again, maybe this one I do green grass. Maybe I do a brown floor. Totally, you guys decide. Where's where are they at? Are they in the house? You could do a black and white checkered floor. You could make it match your favorite carpet. Oh my gosh, if you have like a red carpet at home, you could have them pretend they're on your red carpet or make it match your bedroom. I, I don't know, you know, think outside the box. You guys make it your own however you want to. So, you know what? How, are you guys keeping up with me? I want to make sure you're keeping up with me. Everybody good? No one's saying slow down. So sometimes I go too fast. You know why I go so fast? Because I love when everyone comes on the camera. That's my favorite part where you come on the camera and share what you're creating. And we get inspired by you too. When the kids share what they've been doing or the adult, uh, it's, it inspires all of us because they come up with so many awesome ideas that I didn't even think about. So um, let's see. I was going to tell you guys what's coming up. I think, I think next Friday, a week from today is, I think next Friday is Olaf. So we're doing that next Friday. All the events are under the event tab. We're doing our Friends of a Feather. I gotta throw this, isn't he cute? We gotta, we gotta put him in somewhere. So cute, I've done a lot of private parties with that little guy. Look at our cuddly, oh my gosh, our cute little polar bear. 
And then, oh, our lovebirds. So those are all the ones coming up soon. And again, just check out the um, events tab and you'll see all of the different paint parties we're doing. So again, they're all live and they're recorded for later. So let's see where we're gonna go to next. I'm really just giving it a minute to kind of dry. And Joe, you got a good, how about a good comic strip? We have, a, we have, oh, learn from yesterday, live for today, look to tomorrow, rest this afternoon. That was my day. <laughs> that was my day. Yeah, what a way to go into the new year, right? Awesome. So you don't want blue in Charlie Brown's face. So definitely give it a minute or two to dry a little bit. And if you're using crayons or colored pencils, great. So if you don't have a peach color, you can take some red, some white, and a little bit of yellow and mix it together. And then you could test it out on a piece of paper or you could test it out on your canvas and see if you like the color. So I would do, again, most white and then a little bit of red and yellow. And it might get too orange. So if it's too orange, add a little bit more red. Okay. And if it's too intense, scoop up some white. I'm going to show you guys. And I'm just going to mix it right on there. I'm going to mix it right in his skin. Mm, that's not bad. So again, I'm going to use my brush stroke. And I'm just going to follow that circle shape. So I put a little bit more white in there. Now I think he's too light. That's okay. I'm going to mix it in there. I'm going to paint right over my lines. That would be the easiest thing. But you guys have an idea of where your lines are. So you can repaint them in later. Or you can color right over your lines. And again, you can go over it later because you have the general idea of where everything goes. Color in his ear, that peach color. So he looks lighter on this one than the other one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix up a little bit more peach. Mix it in there. Go around Woodstock's fingers, you know, and I went inside the lines a little bit, but again, I'm not going to worry about it too much because I'm going to, I'm going to outline it too. Now, if you guys don't have a steady hand, you can always use a marker to outline it. I'm going to paint right over his detail, like I'm going to paint over his eyes and his eyebrow and his nose. So I hope you guys are having a great, a great 2021, right? Everyone's 2021 starting off awesome. You got to eat leftovers and take a nap and play, and now you get to create. So we got to be careful of that. If your blue is really wet, just try not to bump into it. You can even leave like a little bit of gap, a little gap, so you don't even have to go all the way to the edge if you know you're going to outline it in blue. I could just leave a little gap or my blue starting to dry. And you guys, I love when you check in on Facebook. I saw even before we started, they were getting ready and they checked in with a photo. I love that. Okay. So if you could check in on Facebook, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, again, if you can't figure it out, you can always message me your photos, but if you can figure it out and check in, I was even thinking maybe I would give you a little surprise. So, but you have to check in. Joe, show them the little tab that says check in. So you go to the artist at heart paint party page and then it says create a post and you check in and you can post a photo thanks joe um you can post a photo on my page and say you know say something and if you can't figure it out you could also tag me artist at heart paint party but i i really i think there's like i don't know 750 people that have checked in so i it it, it really helps me if you guys check in on my page. And if you've done it already, thank you. But starting today, not in the past, but starting today, tw this is one of my things for 2021, get organized. I'm going to really try to get organized. And 
give you guys a, a prize, a present. I don't want to call it a prize. I'll, but check in on my Facebook page. And I'll see what I can do. And again, even his face is not like flat, like a wall color. I have some value. So that means I added a little bit of white and it just makes it interesting. So it's not all one flat peach color. Totally up to you if you want to do that or not. You could just do the whole thing peach. You could still be trying to mix your peach. Maybe he's a little, he's a little more peach over there. I made him a little bit light in the beginning. How's yours coming? So while you got the peach on there, you could do his arm and his fingers. Now when I'm creating, uh, and you, when I'm creating alone, I like to have music going. And I can't play music on here. Oh, I didn't even think of Alexa songs to play. But I think if you guys can have nice music in the background, that would be great. Just, again, something calming. I think art's really calming. So, uh, you know, something that can soothe you. But the hardest part is just letting go of trying to be perfect. Just let it go. Have fun. Enjoy it. You don't like it, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it till you like it. Right. Or, you know, you make a, you make some, you can do it for like make a bunch of cards and, you know, give them away to the mailman, put it, you know, put one on your window, mail one to someone at a nursing home, to your teacher, wherever. You can mail them to me. I love getting presents. I love kids artwork. Oh my gosh. So much. Okay. I'm kind of a big kid, so I get excited when I get artwork. Okie dokie. All right, so there's the peach, and now we got the hands. And look, you can't see his fingers, so don't freak out, right? Because we're going to outline that. So right now it kind of looks like these little blobs of peach, but we're going to outline it later. And that's where people are like, oh, i got to use my black. I got It's driving me crazy. No, don't touch the black. Everyone's going to look like a blob of peach right now, okay? It's okay. We'll fix it later. I promise you when we outline it, it'll pop out. Okay. How did I make the peach? Okay. So you guys, if you have more white than anything, so you need white, and then you take some orange. If you don't have orange, you're going to take red and yellow. So red, a little bit, right? So you're always going to use more of the lighter color. So you're going to use white. You're going to use a little bit of red and some yellow and mix it together, okay? And then you adjust it according to if it's too orange looking, if it's too pink looking, you just adjust it by adding more. So if it's too orange looking, put a little bit more yellow and a little bit more white. If it's too pink, put a little more yellow. So you just have to kind of play around with it. Yes. Yes. You got it, Mallory. So Mar Mallory's telling Susan how to make the peach. But again, it's practice. And I think that's really fun. I love mixing colors and practicing how to do that. So really make a pink, red and white. Add some yellow to it if it turns to orange. If Charlie Brown's looking like a pumpkin, put a little more pink in there, a little more white. Okay, you just have to kind of play with it. Some people have peach because they have like a whole kit of all the different colors. And then the yellow, that, you know, if you guys have a yellow that's really bright yellow, you can add a little bit of orange to that. Uh, it's it's uh, Woodstock's a pretty good yellow. And so is Charlie. I'm going to use the same yellow for Woodstock and for Charlie Brown shirt. And again, I'm going to paint right over the lines because I'll redraw them in later. And if you guys are watching this recorded, they, there's a chat going on. So when they're live, they have the capability of all chatting with each other. So we have everybody chatting together 
And that's when you guys hear me saying those things, I'm, that's why I come up to the camera. I'm looking at their comments and trying to uh, see what they're saying. I like when you guys help each other too. So Susan and Mallory are both members and they're helping each other mix the colors, right? Now, we're all virtual. It's like a virtual community. They don't, we don't know each other in person. We only know each other virtually, but it's really, really fun because they're like, you know, our virtual family. It's like our virtual classroom. It's, it's and as crazy as 2020 was, it's been amazing in so many ways because I would have never gone virtual. Me with an art app, are you kidding? Seriously. Now, I still do plenty of technical errors. Again, I'm still learning. That's true. So again, I'm just getting all the yellow out of the way while I have it on my brush. Now, since I have this yellow on my brush, are you guys, did you get that far? I just wanna make sure you guys are good. And you can make brown for Charlie Brown's shoe if you want. He doesn't have to have brown shoes. You could be, have any colors that, you know, You can do this same yellow and just touch your black and you can make a brown if you don't have a brown, okay? And if it's too, uh, I don't know, add a little white to it if you want, you put a little red in there. And then just cause I had the yellow on my paintbrush, I just used that same uh, paintbrush. I didn't even wash it off. I just took that yellow, put a little bit of white and a little bit of black and I mixed it together. And I got a brown. I love making brown. That's Charlie Brown's shoe. You can put a little bit more white in there if you want to give it a little value. And again, if you want to do, while you have brown on your brush, if you want to do the ground, brown you can. I was thinking of doing this one. I like to do them a little bit different each time, but I could do it green. And if you don't have green, you would mix yellow with blue and you would make green. That's a secondary color. So you can do the ground green if you want. I'm going to leave it for right now and just I'll figure it out later. I think green would look good because it would look like he's outside. So what of them that looks, you know, you guys decide. But I think I'm going to do a different color. All right, I'm going to make his shoe kind of touch his pant leg. And you can have blue jeans on if you want. They don't have to be gray because this is your art. He had purple pants on. Okay. All right. So let's move on and do his pants. So I did his pants gray, but again, if you want to do a different color, that's fine. So black and white makes the gray. And I did get yellow in there. A little bit so I'm just gonna paint over the yellow look at how dark that is so if it's too dark I'm just gonna scoop up some white and again if you guys are washing off your brush dry it off don't take that wet soppy brush and put it in your nice paint dry it off on a paper towel I use my apron a lot to dry it off And I want, I don't want to lose that crack in where his thigh is on his pants. Cause then it would look like one giant, like lump of legs. So I'm going to make it a little bit, a little bit lighter in there. Like right here, it's like a diagonal line in there. So it looks like his knee. And again, we could always add those famous little lines that Charles Schultz adds to his artwork. 
but wait for your paint to dry. So if you want to put those little lines in with marker, just let your paint dry. Be patient. It does take some patience to do this, right? So don't be hard on yourself. All right. So I'm going to, again, so it doesn't look like one big thing leg. I'm going to make this one a little bit darker because it's behind it. So to make it look like it's behind the other leg, I'm going to make it darker. It gives it some dimension. It makes it look like it's behind it, right? So again, if I made the whole thing gray, it would be like one big gray blob. So here it's a little bit darker. I could add a little bit white in there and make it a little bit more gray, but I want it to be different than the other leg. And you could always make it, you know, separate with a black line. I'm trying to get it to look like his knee. I'm super tempted to just jump right into the black, but I'm not going to, because I told you guys, I'll end up with black everywhere. So, because I had gray on my brush, I just want to jump right into the black, but I'm not going to. I want to do my heart. You can make a heart pink. You can make it purple. You can do any color you want to. You don't even have to have a heart. So I'm just using red. You want to make it pink, mix some white into it. You could put 2021. If you have, oh, I have some over here. Let me see. I have, I don't know what I do with them. Oh, these little stickers. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you love Valentine's Day, Dollar Tree has some awesome stuff. But look, I have these little hearts, these little felt hearts. You guys can always embellish your artwork with little hearts, jewels. Holly Ann did that the other day where she took the jewels. And I know Lola's done it. I know uh, Reagan has done it. Emma and Bella have done it. They take um, Amelia. I know a lot of you guys have taken things that you have and embellish your artwork. So embellish would be like add details. So they bling it up with glitter. They bling it up with the little jewels or sequins. So let's just say you want to do that. You can always outline your heart with some sequins or some glitter, or maybe you have some heart stickers you want to put on there. So again, this is your artwork. So there's no reason you can't bling it up with whatever it is that you have. All right. Oh, I'm going to do the green before I do the black. Do we have any more jokes, Joe? I can't remember. I can't keep track. That's why we got to put them on the screen. Joe's taking a nap. <laughs> Joe, are there any more jokes? Joe's on break. Oh, what's a cow's favorite holiday? Hmm, I don't know. What What's a cow's favorite holiday? Moo Year's Eve. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Break's over. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So now let's go to green. And if you don't have any, you don't have to use green. So on the other one, the floor is brown, right? And again, I said you could do it the color of your carpeting in your house. Match a bedroom. You could do green for outside. So I'm just going to make this one a little different. I have yellow and blue paint. So I'm going to use a lot of yellow and a touch of blue. And I'm going to mix together and I'm going to get a green. If it's too dark, add a little white in it. So let's see what it looks like. like that's really dark, right? So I could either put more yellow in it. Or I could add a little bit of white to it. All right, let's see. That's with a little bit of white. And you can always put little, I'll show you guys. First, let me paint it in. Green grass, green grass. I haven't seen the grass here in Cleveland, Ohio in a while. I'm ready. I'm ready for spring. Okay, holidays are over. Let's move to spring, right? Can we just jump right through winter? 
I know we can't. I know. Kids love snow. Snow, snow days, snowmen. Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> ew, ew, gross. All right, so there's my green, right? Now, if you want to, you can even put little sprigs of grass up like this. So I would paint it all in first, and then you could just add your little, it's, it's too dark for me, yeah. You know, but you can have like little pieces of grass. You could put a little flower coming out of the ground. You could put snowflakes, because it's your artwork. You want to put snowflakes around there, you can put snowflakes. I'm done with snow. <laughs> All right, so now you guys, I know you're ready for the black, right? So you want to use the black paint? Okay, here's the trick. So you guys, when, if you're painting, the harder you press, the wider your bristle is going to spread, okay? And you don't want your bristle to spread too wide when you're doing something small. So as gentle as you can and as light as you can with the smallest brush that you have, you can go real slow and use your black paint. If you don't have a really tiny brush, just use the tip of it, just the tip where it's pointy and like you're tickling it. Go as light as you can, okay? Because it's not as easy to cover up black. You can still do it if you wait. So I'm just going to paint in the inside of Snoopy's ear. And you could do his nose. Now, you can paint around that little highlight on his nose, or you can always paint the whole thing black. Depends on how steady my hand wants to be. So I can paint around it and leave that little speck of white, or I could add it later. I could paint the whole thing in black, let it dry, and then add the white to it later. This part of his tail right here is black. And then uh, the spot on his back right here. Don't forget those triangles in his shirt, the classic Charlie Brown shirt. And then the lines. Now before Okay, I love these ear pods. You guys, I haven't quite figured out the whole Apple system yet with, sometimes when I touch my ear pods, like I mute myself or I don't know, weird things happen. I, I guess I need to read the directions. That's another thing. I, I don't often read the directions and then I, it starts to fall out of my ear. Do you guys have that problem? I mean, you know, the plug-in kind, Joe, remember you're like, oh, you know, like he didn't, Joe made fun of me when I had the plug-in earplugs by the one with the cord but they the old ones fit so much better these fall out the one day they fall into my paint but um and then you touch them and they do weird things so i haven't figured out the whole magic ear touch thing yet my mouse is the same way it's 
technology is amazing and crazy at the same time because it confuses me. All right, so if you guys, before I start doing the lines, which I know you wanna do, I'm gonna mix up a little bit of gray again, okay? And I'm just gonna add a little bit of gray to Snoopy. Give him a little dimension so he's not so flat. You don't have to. Don't make it too dark. So a, a lot of white and a touch of black, a touch. Okay, you could put a little bit of gray on his belly here. So look how dark that is. That's way too dark. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna scoop up some white and I'm gonna mix it in there, okay? So it's almost like a shadow, right? And I'm gonna make it, see so it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So it's not so flat. I can put a little bit on his leg here. little on his foot here. And again, I can paint over those lines later. He's still like, oh, I love you. And then you could even make another lighter gray right here. If you want, it's even lighter. Or you can just leave it white of the canvas, white of the paper. Same thing here with his face. And I'm not gonna worry about painting over his eyes because I wanna go over it again with black. Ooh, that's too dark, right? Oops, oops. So I'm gonna scoop up some white. Not have I'm not having a meltdown and crying on the floor. Okay. I'm not gonna crumple it up and quit. I am gonna add more white to it. Okay. Now if you make a mistake and you can't fix it, do it again. But you can fix it. So I'm just gonna keep mixing some white in there till it doesn't look like he has a dirty face. And again, you can leave it white. I'm just giving it a little dimension like a shadow so I went into his nose with the blue paint so this is going to cover it up look at that because I know my blue is nice and dry so I could just go right over it right over where I went into his face So this one's a little bit darker than the other one. So what can I do? I can lighten it up with some white. Put a little gray over here on his ear. Get him a little gray over here. And yeah, I can, his face to me is a little bit too dark. So I'm just gonna scoop up a little bit more white. Lighten it up, see that? I'm just gonna mix it in there, lighten it up. Now, if it gets too thick, you can always take some of the paint off because I've added a lot of paint. You could always take a paper towel or another paintbrush and kind of scoop off some of it. He's so gray, so I want him to be whiter. So I'm gonna let him, I gotta leave him alone. Happy, Eileen, happy new year. Oh my gosh, happy, I think Eileen's in Florida. Eileen is a dear friend and a teacher who taught with me for many years at a school in Cleveland called Paul Dunbar, where I did 10 years of my career teaching preschool through fifth grade, right, initially. And Eileen was right there with me. We had the best kids and the best, we just had so much fun teaching. Um, oh, all right, I'm gonna, I thought I had more white paint, but I don't, so I'm gonna use what I have. I mean, that that's the cool thing about Facebook is like you can connect with so many people from around the world, people you know, people you don't know, right? It's amazing, amazing. Just depends on how you use it, right? Oops, and there goes my ear pod. Oh man, I told you guys. And then, you know, like, come on, are my ears, really that much different in size? Like it fits better in one ear than the other? Am I the only one that has these issues? <laughs> All right, let's start outlining. 
So again, I want you guys to go really, really slow and use the smallest brush, or you can wait patiently and do it, you know, when your stuff is dry, but I'm going to just outline. So you're going to really notice it pop out when you start outlining it. That's why people want to jump into the black so early. See how all of a sudden it starts popping out? Just takes patience, you know we'll get there. Sometimes my old students come on, you know, and um, oh my gosh, it's just interesting because you, they're adults now with their own children and I'm like, no way, no way. And you can see, his, you know, you can still see my lines through this. His little curly Q piece of hair. Backwards C. Oops. So you could just see I pressed a little bit harder there. Like I kind of lost my balance and pushed too hard. So his eyebrows are a little bit thicker. He needs a wax. He needs to wax those eyebrows. So anyway, it's just because I pressed harder and that's why my bristles spread a little bit wider. So just as if you can try to be gentle, go as light as you can with a steady hand. And again, if you don't have a steady hand, use a marker. I got to make sure Joe's not messaging me. I took my Joe doesn't want to communicate on screen. I don't remember if we have any jokes left, Joe. We got anything left? I can't remember how many jokes we had planned. He's checking the jokes now, right? And if you guys have any jokes, the kids like to tell jokes a lot. I think Mallory had a bunch of jokes the other day. You guys are welcome to tell jokes or share your talents with us. I'm going to give you a link shortly. So if you want to come on the camera and share your artwork and share your special gifts with us, we would love to see you. Now, it's a StreamYard link. Joe, you can give them the StreamYard link. And StreamYard is the platform that I use to broadcast through. So I don't just go live on Facebook. I, I'm able to stream actually on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook simultaneously. I don't use, um, yes, Hudson, yes, you can come on. So Joe's gonna give you guys a link. It's gonna say StreamYard link. And if it, you can give it stream, so even though your name's on Facebook, it you know you can give StreamYard your name. And then when you click on it, and it will only let 10 people up at a time, you'll come into like the backstage, okay, underneath. You'll be in a little box underneath. And then Joe will bring you up on the camera with me. And then you can say, who was that that said that? Um, you know, you could say, hi, I'm Eileen, and I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, or who's first? Malpal. Go ahead. Oh, just bring up Malpal, Joe. You could bring her up. Go ahead. She'll be a good example. I'll show you guys how it works. Joe, you remember how to do it? Hi. Hey, Mary. This is mine. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I, I lost my head. Hold on. I'm trying to get position. Do you have a joke for us tonight? I have two. Yay. Okay. What does the farmer say when he can't find his tractor? What does the farmer say when he can't find his tractor? I don't know. Tell us. Where's my tractor? <laughs> that's good, Mallory. And um, then what's the other one? 
Um, what smells like red paint, but it's blue? What smells like red paint, but it's blue? I don't know. Blue paint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and what's your shirt say? Love is owl, owl unique. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, that's great. What did you, what kind of supplies did you use? I used crayons. That looks great. Thank you. Did you have a good New Year's? Yes. Well, thank you for coming back and creating with us today. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Happy New Year. I'll see you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye. Holly Ann's here. Hey, Holly. Hey. I like your hat uh, and your so beads. This is my hat. I, I added some stuff. I love the 2021. Very nice. I love it. And don't forget um, the blue so in between. I, can I sing a song? Yes. I want you to sing a song. I would love for you to sing a song. Uh, yeah. Um, the favorite things. Yes, I would love to hear that. Everybody would love to hear it. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Red copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper package tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels. Doorbell and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles. Walkies that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses and blue satin sashes. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Well, I Silver white winters are melting to springs. These are a few of my things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I still remember my favorite thing. And then I don't so bad. Oh my gosh! Yay! That was beautiful. You have a beautiful voice. And you know what? It made me feel good. It That song Thank and you. your voice made me feel good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. That was awesome, Holly Ann. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, you guys. Happy New Year. You're welcome. Happy Th New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh. If that doesn't make you feel better, oh my, what what will make you feel better? Okay, that just warmed my heart. These are a few of my favorite things. You don't want to hear me sing. Okay, Holly Ann, you can sing, all right. Uh, it makes me want to sing, but I don't want to torture you too much. So let's go back to painting. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so awesome. And you guys, if you want to come on and play your instrument, sing a song, tell a joke. You are welcome to. Joe's going to give you a StreamYard link. Okay. So Joe, give them the link. And um, we have Hudson here. Okay. Hudson, bring on Hudson. Hey, Hi. Hudson. Hi. So, sorry, I'm adjusting my thing here. <laughs> okay. This is what I did. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, thank you. And I like I, you wrote end of 2020. Hello, 2020. I usually, oh, I I usually don't do, do too good with this stuff, but here's my mom's too. Oh, let's, oh. hey. Hi. <laughs> that looks great. You guys did awesome. Thank you for creating with us. Thank you. Thank you for doing this Fun. too. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this your first time? Yeah, our first time. My friend sent it to me. That's awesome. And there's a couple more on YouTube if you check it out. There's a couple okay. more free ones. So thank you so much. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Hi, Gina Lee. Are you Gina Lee? Or is that, hi. I'm Gina and I have a joke. Oh, good. I like jokes. What did the toilet say to the other toilet? 
Uh, what did the toilets? I hope nothing disgusting. I don't know what did it say. You look a little bit flushed. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I was a little nervous about that one. <laughs> Let's see what you made. I is that a purple background? Uh huh. That's a beautiful background, and I like the green grass too. That looks great. You did a great job. Is this your first time with us? No. No, you've done. You just haven't come on the camera before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. <laughs> you have? I don't remember. I try to remember. Maybe I don't remember. I'm sorry, Gina. I haven't seen you in a while. You grew up. When was like? Yes. When was the last time you painted with me? The Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. Oh, you got the Grinch. Yeah, we you did. Came out, you did? Oh my gosh. I'm That's sorry, I don't remember. I'm gonna go watch the video. Were you by yourself? Daddy, come in the picture. Maybe she'll remember Danny. She won't remember me. I was wearing my uh <laughs> yeah, I bet you have a fully sweater. Oh, the oh, the I have, yes, it was it was actually all three of you guys, and I have a picture of you, and that looks amazing. Now I remember you. Sorry, Gina. I gotta have you know, dad and ma. It helps me remember. So that's awesome. And I have an awesome picture of the three of you guys together. So thank you so much for creating with me and happy new year. Happy new year. Bye. Bye you guys. Good joke, by the way, Gina. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm getting old. This memory. So sometimes I get nervous on camera and um, I don't remember everything. So, but I do. Yeah. When I saw him and again, I have an awesome picture of the family. So sometimes it triggers from now on be like, Oh yeah, I remember you. No, I, all right, my bad. So, okay, let's keep going. Oh, someone's here. I heard someone pop in. Hey, Reagan! Reagan from Florida. Hey, Reagan! Hi! Hi! This is my that looks awesome. Are you gonna jump outside in the dark? Okay. <laughs> These are the penguins that my mom- Oh, those look great. I love the purple hat with the polka dots. Come up close. Did you put those stickers on there? That looks so cute. This is mine and this is my mom's. They, those look adorable. You guys did great. Thank you. <laughs> now she's okay, you guys, you're in for a treat. So Reagan, oh my gosh, look at how you have it all lit up. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Don't fall. Mom, how do you watch that and not get nervous? I do get nervous. It used to have a like protective net around it, but then the hurricane kind of messed the poles up. So yeah, at first I was freaking out, but now she's so good at it, I don't worry. Wow. <laughs> Well, you definitely kicked up my heart. My heart's racing. I'm like, okay, this is, this is, oh my gosh, Reagan, that's amazing. Are you getting dizzy? I would be like throwing up. I'd be like, <laughs> you know, oh my gosh. you got to be dizzy. That was amazing. Yay. <laughs> high five. Are you ready for the Olympics? Here, high five. Look at my big hand. Um, they should add trampoline to the Olympics. Wouldn't that be an awesome sport? Yeah. You should write them a letter. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, family. Happy New Year, Denise. Happy New Year. Bye, you guys. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay. So, like, Joe plays football. And I had, I went to the – Joe, I'm sorry. I didn't even come this year. Last year, I went to one of his games. My heart was racing. Watching those boys hurt each – I know. I mean, like, tackle each other. And then they can't get off, off the field. And then all the guys go on one knee and everyone's praying for these injured kids. No, thank you. Like, I don't think that football should even be legal. All right, you guys can yell at me, but I can't watch Joe play football. Okay, sorry, Joe. And Joe's a really good football player, but to, again, it just makes my heart race. Just like Reagan bouncing all over that trampoline. I thought she was gonna go off the back of it, okay? Makes me very nervous. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll stay confined in my little room here. I'm not doing any tricks with my paintbrush. Okay, should I finish this artwork? Okie dokie, let's finish outlining Charlie and Snoopy and keep going. We have some time. So as you guys probably noticed, a lot of the kids are, um, those are members. So I know 
like the parents and they've been with me since March. And I'm sorry, Gina, Gina, I'm going to give you a present because I, I didn't remember you, but now I'm going to remember you. Hey, there's Alexa. Alexa, I know Alexa. Hi. Alexa, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So this is my mom's. Very nice. I like it. Oh, I like the flower. That looks good. And then I tried doing mine on like just freehanding it, but then I figured out it was too hard. So I just um copied it. I traced oh, that it. Oh, that looks tell us how you traced it on there. How did you get it on so, there? Um what I did was I took one of these that we used and then I put my paper on it and traced it with pencil. Great idea. And you know what's another idea too? And I, I can only do this when the light is out. So when I was teaching the classroom, you could hold, if you can't see through your paper, you can hold it up on the glass. So if it's light outside, it doesn't work if it's dark out, but if it's light outside, you just take the drawing and put a piece of white paper over it and you can see right through it and trace it. That's so. a smart idea. Okay, well, not if it's dark out, <laughs> but if it's daytime, you could do it, so. Um, that's another way. That's why I didn't tell them tonight. But thanks so much for creating with us. Happy New Year. Your hair's year. been so long. You too. How to make slime. I'm reading your shirt. <laughs> All right. I like your shirt. It's very cool. Thanks. Happy New Year to you guys too and your family. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, my gosh. So, Alexa, I'll never forget during, you know, the early months, and I can't remember your birthday, Alexa, but I do know that you asked your family for your birthday. You wanted all four of you your mother, your father, and your brother to all paint together for her birthday. So they all four sat down and did a painting with me and um, posted a picture of it. So I do remember that. I'm a very visual person. So again, like if, in my, if I have your family in my head, that's kind of how I remember you. All right, but I'm, oh, someone's here. I'm at Bella from Florida. Oh my gosh, that's fast. Hey girls. Oh, sorry, that was me. Yeah. Hey girls. Oh, we got a guitar. And this is my picture. Wow, that looks great. Okay, I'm going way too slow tonight. I'm talking a lot, aren't I? That looks really amazing. This is mine so far. That looks awesome too. You I guys are doing. Lower. So you can work on it while Emma plays the guitar. Yeah. Right? And Emma, I told Joe you're going to play him in chess. Joe oh, thinks you're gonna yeah. win. Joe says he hasn't played chess in, in a few years, so but he's he's really ready to do a virtual chess game. So awesome. All right, what are you gonna play for us? Um I'm gonna play a part of the song called Country Roads, which you might have already heard. But Somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I'll go get your finger also. That was amazing. You're a really good guitar player. She's she's pretty good. She's just being really modest right now. That, pretty good. Do you jam jam some like what's the most jamming song you know? Um, I'm learning. Hit me with your best shot. I mean, I should yeah, do that. You said that's my ear. I yeah. Okay. You know who Beth Benatar is? <laughs> okay, so I usually play it on electric guitar, so it sounds a bit different, and it's pretty hard because I just started learning it like two weeks ago. But yeah. So I'm an 80s, I mean, you know, I was in high school in the 80s. I saw Pat Benatar in concert, okay? Yes, uh, that was very, very good. She would be very proud of you. <laughs> Maybe she's watching, you know? She could be secretly on Facebook watching you. I don't know how old she is now, but 
It's a possibility. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's a possibility. Thank you, Emma. Very good. All right. So, Bella, I don't know, Bella, are you going to be able to play your violin or you want to do it later? Um, I will. You going to do it? Are you going to play Benatar on your violin? She's, she's keeping her violin, yes. Who's like a, oh, how about like Dixie Chicks? Don't they do a really good job on it? Uh, I knew one. On the violin? That's my daughter for Christmas. And, uh, That's the new one? And I don't want to get paint on it. No, I don't blame you. It's beautiful. Mm. Ah. That's okay. <laughs> um, if I'm still getting used to it, so if I make a mistake, um, just we'll never know. Wow. <laughs> Irina, you must be so proud. Oh my gosh, I love it when they play for me. That was amazing. You guys are so talented. I I'm telling you. To cooperate on something and learn a song together. Yeah, they, like I. They both I think, play on piano. So I'm telling them they need to do something, you know, when they're both playing the same song, but it's still, we, we haven't figured out what song to do. <laughs> I'm t I'll, between the everything that they can play, you should d learn a Dixie Chicks. It, aren't there? Isn't that one of them that's really good on the violin in the Dixie Chicks? I you know who the Dixie so. Chicks are? Yeah, that's that's like a different level oh, yeah. <laughs> of violin playing. If you could do Pat Benatar, and that was that was great. That was I'm very impressed. Thank you. Every day, every time you guys come on, I learn something new about you. So, <laughs> and how about Reagan jumping around? Did you see that? Did you see Reagan on the trampoline? Yes, oh, yeah. that was amazing. Yes. Was I the only one that got nervous? We got nervous too because there's no netting uh, on, around yeah. the sides. So we were just a little worried that she might fall off. But she yes, did. she did a great job. You guys did a great job too. Happy New Year. Thanks Happy for celebrating with me. Happy New Year. Here's our dog. Bye, you guys. Bye. Oh! She, she just came, she came from a walk. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, you guys. Oh my gosh, awesome! All right, let me finish. Look, I got to finish outlining this. Snoopy's face is a little too gray, but let me at least finish outlining it. I don't want to rush too much because I don't want him to look like Groucho Marx. If you guys know who that is, like I just made his eyebrows too thick. Groucho Marx. You got Holly Ann, beautiful. Reagan, beautiful. Emma Bella, beautiful. Gina, awesome artwork, okay? Mallory, great jokes. You guys check in with photos on Artist of Heart Paint Party, and I will surprise you with something. How's that so? I know that Gina knows how to do that because that's where I saw that really cute picture of them. Some people can't find it, but it's a big red check in on the Facebook page. And I love you when you guys share with your friends. Thank you so much. You know, when he told me he found it from his friend. Now I'm rushing, I, I, I'm doing exactly what I told you not to do. I told you to take your time with that black, but I'm rushing because I 
we've been talking a lot and having so much fun. So there, yeah. So Reagan's in Florida and the hurricane blew away her net. But luckily they were safe and the rest of her trampoline is still there. And she is really good at flipping on it. And I'm going to say prayers that you never bounce off of that thing because you could really get hurt. Cute little Woodstock. You know, Woodstock is a little uh, canary. Did you know that? He's a canary. And his head that looks like Groot, right? The top of his head kind of looks like Groot. Maybe the creator of Groot was inspired by Woodstock. So many people get inspired by others. I'd have to research that. I really never knew that they looked alike and still I was painting it. I was like, oh, he kind of looks like Groot. Maybe they're cousins. All right, let's do the hands. See what a difference that black line makes? You could even put like a little kind of detail in his ear. You could put those lines in his shoe. Oh, I didn't outline it. So look at his hand is still right. It's just like one big blob. So I gotta I'm gonna go slow. Try not to rush too much. Again, if anybody else wants to come on camera, but now is your time. You could tell a joke. You could share your artwork. Don't forget to check in. Right. Check in, check in with a photo. And if you can't figure it out, that's okay. You can message me. Yes, they're so good. I'm reading the comments again. So they're so good. You guys are all so talented. It is amazing. Uh, so these are, again, the, the kids that perform tonight are the members. They've been with me since March. And every time they come and show me more talents, I'm like, you guys are so talented and kids, Kids in general are just amazing, right? They're just natural thinkers and, and they're always creating and thinking outside the box, changing it up. You know, they inspire me and they make me feel good. You guys made me feel good. So, you know, again, because of the situation that we're all in and, you know, I want to hug my mom. I brought over my mom a bunch of food and I had a mask on and we stayed six feet apart and I just wanted to hug her. And you know how hard it is to not be able to hug your mom or your sisters? So. I thought, you know what, let's just celebrate together. Let's do some virtual hugs, right? Virtual hugs, I'm hugging all of you guys, hugs. And sending you love and prayers. And because I just want all of you to be healthy and safe in this amazing new year, right? You guys, this is gonna be huge. It's gonna be a great year. This is the first day of 2021. It started out great. It's going to be great. It's going to get better. It's only going to get better. So just make sure you continue to stay safe. And, uh, you know, again, it'll all be good one day at a time.
take your time, keep creating, do things that make you feel good. Listening to Holly Ann's song made me feel so good, right? Watching Reagan jump made me nervous, but it did make me happy and laugh. Listening to the girls play their musical instruments. Mallory's funny jokes, okay? Art funny jokes. Like, you know, it's it's great. I love it. I love laughing. I love being happy. And uh, there's certain things you like painting relaxes me. So I just want you guys to find what works for you. And technology makes me stressed. <laughs> so I got to work on my technology. Joe, did we hit all of those pictures? I know we had New Year's resolutions. I know we had jokes. I can't remember, Joe, if we got them all before we're done. Oh, there's another one. You should get a job working it in a tree. You could be a branch manager. Oh, good grief. Right? There's another one of our little snippets. I can't, I can't remember. Again, I didn't keep track, so I can't remember if we went through everything or not. One more time, Joe, give them the website. You guys check out the website if you want to learn more. It's artistatheart.org. Thank you guys so much, artistsatheart.org. So that's the website. It'll show you all the different packages that we have. You could do a day pass with unlimited videos for 24 hours. You could do a month pass. You could do a six month pass. You could do a year pass. So check it out. It's really fun. And again, we have an art app that the kids can use on any device that they want to. You could do it with friends. You can um, have multiple people on the apps at the same time. Thank you, Joe. Joe is my nephew behind the scenes. Joe's been helping me since March. He's uh, in high school and he's at his house safely social distancing. And I just want to say God bless all of you guys. Thank you so much for creating with me in 2020 and now 2021. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party and stay safe. I'll see you guys. Oh, I forgot what I was going to close with. Oh, someone's here. One more person's here. Who is that? Jack. Jack's here. Hey, Jack. Hi, Jack. You got a good smile. Hey, this is my... Jack, that is amazing. What is that next to Snoopy? What'd you make there? Is that a balloon? It's balloons. Balloons! I want to put balloons on mine. That's a great idea. Um, I love it. It's the first time. I don't even want to say that. Have you been with us before? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, You're so cute. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one. Oh yeah! I remember the tiger. You did the tiger with me. Yeah. And this. Oh, and the Snoopy campfire and the roasting marshmallows. That's awesome. You're a really good artist. How old are you? <laughs> I love that. That's very Monet, kind of Van Gogh Monet. I love it. Yeah. Jack, you're a really good artist. Thank you for creating with me. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. But that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Awesome. That's an awesome way to end it. Be happy, make art. That's what I was going to say. Be happy, make art. Have a wonderful 2021. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for creating with me. Bye, you guys.